Hello, this is DJ. It's, uh, it's late in the morning or early, whichever you prefer. And I'm wasting time doing video tutorials to help you out. Alright, let's do it. I'm going to show you how to layer sounds. And uh, I'll just do it quick, man. Basically, when I layer sounds, I'll just drag them and drop them. Find out what I want. I'm gonna make a brass section because I'm I'm in love with brass for some reason. And uh, all right, so I dropped in four. That might be enough for now. I might add 25 later. So right click your any channel and just insert and go to layer. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I got a layer, and I got four different brass sound fonts, and all these sound fonts are on themusictip.com. For free download. Check it out. Now. Or after the video. And uh. So I got my layer. And you open it up. And you have set children. Show children. Random crossfade. And all this hoopla. And uh. If you want to make a layer. All you really got to do. Is select each channel that you want to be part of a layer. And uh. You can do that with the left mouse click and drag down, or you can do individuals by right clicking on this green little select button. So I'm going to right click and drag down on each brass and leave your channel settings menu open and hit set children. So I'll do a single brass for you. Cool. That's one brass. And, right. and now I'll do the layer one just to show you an example. And that's the layer you can tell it has four different brass sections on it which make it thick sounding like it's a big band song coming up and there's a few different things you can do to enhance your layer if you want you can click on your layer the channel setting or channel for whichever channel you want to modify and what we're gonna do is turn the octave down so it doesn't sound so fake sounding You can just right click on the next octave up and it knocks it down one on your keyboard. Uh, and if you mess up, you can just hit reset right there. Here, how it's getting lower every time I go up an octave. Yeah, see, you don't want that. So maybe we'll go at C6. And you can do that with every one. Say if you want something to play a higher note and something to play a lower note. You can uh, just tool around with it till you get some good sounding. So, we'll do this one. There's another little trick you can do. Say I'll put that one on C6. Maybe go up one. C7. And there's a little option you can do if you use the left mouse click button. You can click and drag for as long as you want. And the, only those keys will play in that specific layer. So I'll show you. I'll mute these just so you can bear witness. Alright, I'm in that zone. Watch this area over here. Right there, the channel settings. See, I'm hitting a key over here, but it's not lighting up. Not lighting up. Not working. You can probably hear me jamming on it, but it's not working. It just won't happen. And if you want to just get rid of that, you can just hit reset. 
simple as that and it goes back down to your C5 note but I like to tweak mine there's a couple other effects you can do with a you may not have you may not use a sound phone you can use different plugins and this that and the other I'm just doing this for tutorial use because whenever I make layers I always use plugins I use sound flies too though but you can uh, change the attack time on some of these to make it sound more dynamic and to do that you just go here attack decay sustain release you can mess with the release too if you want and that's for your bowl and brass listen and if you do that with a few different other ones get some pretty dynamic sounding you can screw with some modulation here and uh, that's it for the instrument side I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these and you can one thing I do when I make beats is I always, always, always layer my drums. Rarely do I ever use one kick and one snare. And that's what makes my drums pop pretty hard. On Fruity Loops at least. So, I got some kits here. I'm going to go ahead and use my James is So Tight kit. Uh, all these are on the music tip as well for free. TheMusicTip.com so, I got my kicks here. So, I'm going to turn the tempo down to a hip hop tempo. And what I'm doing on this clap is I don't like that little end part on the clap here. Listen, this it's this piece right here. So, if you're in Free Loops 9, you can go in and uh, turn this out button and that's just a quick fade out. It's a little bit tighter now. So I've got my claps here. Whenever I make drums, I've layered about 10 different kicks before. There's really no limit to how many kicks and snares you can layer. But it really does make your, your beats stand out more give it a dynamic sound. I'm just filling in random spots. You can even put a couple more hi-hats in there too. Ah, oh, whoops. I don't know, you, pr you guys probably can't hear that at home, but this hi-hat doesn't end on a zero note. And what, when it doesn't end on a zero note, basically what that does is it makes it have a pop sound at the end. And I'm sure you might have heard that before. But you can just do a quick fade out. Sounds better. And all I'm going to do is copy this pattern, right click the channel, edit copy, and paste it on this one. There's another quick way you can do that is right click it and fill each two steps or fill each four, eight, whatever. I'm just going to do two and you'll notice the hi-hats sound thicker now and I'll give you an example with just one of each it's not as dynamic sounding but when you layer drums you really want to make sure you get some uh, good quality stuff and when you get down to it you want to tweak it and make it sound as good as possible because you really want your drums to stand out the most uh, over your instrumentation you know the drum is the soul of the track the rhythm and the beat and once you get the drums popping that's like half the battle pretty much then you just gotta find a decent melody get some knocking drums and you're, you're pretty much good to go you can make it a whole song with just drums really 
in a bass or something. I don't know. You can add some swing to it. Who knows? Get crazy with it. Put 50%. One of those kicks ends on, doesn't end on a zero note, and I think it's this kick African. You can leave it like that if you want, but I'm pretty picky. All right, I'm gonna wrap that one up. Uh, get crazy with it, you know. Put ten snares on there. Put ten claps. Uh, if you want to make a real thick sound and clap. Like it's a lot of, uh, if, it's, if you want to make it like a live feel, like it's 10 or 15 people clapping to a beat or something like that and at a party or whatever, take a lot of uh, real uh, thin sounding claps. Like uh, say, if you really recorded a clap directly into a microphone, it would be real thin sounding like this. Yeah, but uh, say if you did uh, 10 or 15 real thin sounding solo claps and you recorded each one individually, then uh, make sure you don't quantize them all to the exact same time because in real life each human won't be programmed to the exact same time they'll be slightly off of each other but when you do that it gives it a humanized feel and uh, just make it sound more natural but it can also give your song a real club like a party hopping vibe if you do that it gives it a, a flaming type of effect and I can go in depth on that in another tutorial but if you have any more questions on layering, uh, just let me know. And you can you can use the layer channel to make drum layers as well. But I just tend to do it like this and break it down into each different channel. Uh, yeah. Anyways, if you got any more questions, just hit me up. Message, comment. Go to the musictip.com. Forums, whatever. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>